Now, this looks like a kitchen I would feel on holidays every day of my life. That's the goal, right? I mean, I think when you, you want your kitchen to be an expression of your personal style and something that makes you feel good when you're in it. Because you're gonna be in your kitchen every single day. You don't have a chance to lounge every day, <laughs> right? You don't necessarily, you're not necessarily in your living room every day, but you will be in your kitchen. But all I see are cupboards in this kitchen. Well, don't be fooled, because I think one of the big trends is making kitchens, because we're often focusing on an open concept environment, it's making the kitchen be as beautiful and functional as possible. Am I going to so, get a big surprise? Yeah, you're going to get door? a big surprise. Wow. Fridge and freezer. So these are, these are Monogram's column refrigeration units. And so you can install them any way you want. In this case, I decided to do a tower of open shelving here and again sort of harnessing another trend element which is the use of copper on the shelves. Now when you typically start out with a layout, I mean this is open concept, mm -hmm. is that a layout that is still um, most appealing to people? No, I think there are so many benefits to open concept living. I think it's, you know, for me, I love being in an open concept space because it gives me the opportunity to enjoy all of the rooms from one room. And I think that it allows smaller spaces to live larger and larger spaces to feel connected. Do kitchen trends change from year to year? Kitchen trends definitely evolve and there's always something new and exciting to talk about. So whether it's contemporary appliances that are flush mounted that you can barely see to something that has more of a professional style. I think that the exciting thing about kitchens is kitchen trends tend to evolve as the um, as the products evolve. For me, this is definitely a trend kitchen. So, using warm metals, so copper pulls and accents, uh, millennial pink. I mean, how often do you see a pink kitchen? We've also got wallpaper in a kitchen, Sarah. But why not? I mean, there isn't. There's nothing spraying all over the walls in here. Uh, so this is, you know, I think I think wallpaper helps us sort of embrace that tone and set the mood. And the idea here was resort living. I wanted something. It's January. I wanted something <laughs> fresh and light and tropical, and really inspiring. Now, when you're buying or selling a home, how important? is that kitchen, that living space? I mean, is that the first thing you want to renovate? Is that the first thing you want to look for when you're buying a home? You know, a lot of people can't see beyond something that's incomplete. So they don't want a house that has a kitchen that hasn't been renovated. I think that we know, we absolutely know kitchens and bathrooms sell houses. I want to talk to you about the layout of some of these appliances. How important is the positioning of the appliances when you're doing the layout of a kitchen? Like, do you have to think where does the stove go versus the fridge versus the dishwasher? I think it's of the utmost importance, the way you lay it out. And the layout of every kitchen really depends on the space that you're starting with and what the proportions of that room are. And, but you have to think about what works for you. When it comes to the way I like to lay out a kitchen, I like to have separate work areas so that multiple people can be in the kitchen at once. That's really important to me. And I like good counter space. I think having, forget about that kitchen triangle that people talk about where you're fridge, your stove, and your sink all need to be in a triangle. I prefer to think about where can I ensure that I have great prep surface and work surface. To roll out all that cookie dough. To roll out the cookie dough. <laughs> or somebody can be making pancakes here while somebody is doing homework at the island and something else is happening in the cleanup zone. And I think it's also about, you know, when you're when you're thinking about working with the space you have, you want to choose the right appliances. So this is a really great example. You know, we're in a we're in a tight space here. So we have a small clearance between the front of this wall oven and our counter. But look at this. This is a French door wall oven. You did that so with one hand. It's a one-handed, right? One-handed opening, but also it's half the depth of that you would normally require if you had to pull it open. And you can literally just pull it out and what I call this oven to table, right? And it's it's really, instead of bending down to take out that turkey, it's coming right out <laughs> and ready to serve. And then when you're done eating that turkey, where yes. are you putting all those dirty dishes? Oh, then I'm putting all the, you don't know, right? No. But all the, the dishwasher integrated appliances are hugely important because it allows you to keep the, the aesthetic of your kitchen while keeping it disguised. So hidden right here. Now I understand if I had a few extra dollars you could show me some 
top of the line deluxe appliances. Oh, if you have a few extra dollars in your renovation, come with me. <laughs>Now this looks like your neighborhood pizzeria. It doesn't look like a kitchen that should be in your home. Well, if you love pizza, you're gonna want the new Monogram pizza oven. This is the first ventless residential pizza oven of its kind. I was gonna ask, is it legal? Does it pass all the bylaws? Well, yeah, what's incredible is it heats up to 800 degrees in 30 minutes. And so that high heat temperature is what gives you the incredible crunch in the crust that you love in, in a there. pizzeria. Look in there. Now I see that you can call up the kind of pizza that you want. Can you call up your personal pizza chef as well? Oh, I wish, I <laughs> wish. But I think, I think that if you splurge on an item like this, I think you have a love of pizza anyway. You got and you know, you have to have a love of cooking and entertaining. And you know, I just think the whole focus of this kitchen was trying to design a kitchen, a residential kitchen, that was sort of inspired by the idea of a pizzeria. So a gathering space and a place to hang out and entertain and really just have fun. Now when I think of deluxe appliances, I mean this definitely tops the list. Yeah. One of the other ones is that fridge and that is a lot of pressure, that clear door. Oh well, what's neat about it is you can actually have the lights on or you can have the lights turned off. And so you can turn the lights off so then you just get smoked glass. But I think that... So no one sees your homemade mess in Nobody there. sees it, but you know, it's fabulous because it also has, I mean, look at this. All your gourmet ingredients. Right now it actually smells like a pizzeria in here. It's full of all fresh ingredients. Um, it has, this is a convertible drawer. So this middle drawer here, you can use it for refrigeration, you can use it to store wine, or you can use it as a freezer. Well, thank you so much. Um, I do have one last question yes. for you. Yeah. Are you a good cook? And what time's dinner? I'm an okay cook. I can make you some pizza and I'm hungry now, so let's do it. That's amazing, thank you. Okay.